Okay, so today's learning objective is to substitute integers into a simple algebraic expression. So our keyword is definitely integer and substitute. And an integer is any whole number that is positive or negative. And the word substitute. So if you think to a football game, and we bring in a substitute, we are replacing someone. Isn't that correct? So the word substitute means to replace. And so what we're doing here is if we have an expression, an example of an expression would be say 2a plus 4 or a plus 7. These are all different expressions. And they're expressions because they have a letter in them. They have an unknown. And substitute means we're going to replace that letter with an integer, with a number, and what happens there. Example one here today is find the value of 2x minus 5 if, in the first instance, x is equal to 4. So the expression I've been given is 2x minus 5, and I've been told x equals 4. So I'm going to write that in the corner here. Now, 2x. If x is 4, it's 2x, which means it's 2 times x. So I'm going to use brackets here to help me with this. So another way of writing that is 2 times, and in this case our x is 4, 2 times 4 minus 5. And 2 4s are 8, and 8 minus 5, the answer is 3. The second part of that question is, okay, try it again, and this time, what if x is equal to minus 3? So I'm going to give myself a little bit more room, and I'm going to draw a thick line here. And so now the question is 2x minus 5 again, but this time x is equal to minus 3. So again, I'll write that in the corner, x equals minus 3. So 2x, if x is minus 3, that's two of them, so it's two times minus three minus five. You are multiplying this. Two times minus three is minus six minus five, which gives you minus 11. Let's put a little arrow there. Example two here, if a is equal to four and b is equal to minus two, find 3a minus 2b plus 3. So I'm going to just write that out. So 3a minus 2b plus 3. And in the corner I'm going to write where a is equal to 4 and b is equal to minus 2. Okay, so 3a, if a is 4, it's 3 of them, which means it's 3, and I'm going to multiply it by 4 minus 2b, and b is minus 2, so it's 2 times minus 2 plus 3. Remember, my brackets mean multiply, so 3 times 4 is 12. A minus by a minus gives me a plus, so minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 gives me plus 4, and then at the end here, I don't have anything working out to do, so just bring that down, plus 3. And it becomes 12 plus 4 plus 3, which is going to give me 12 plus 4 is 16 plus 3. The answer is 19. Example 3, we're asked to find a squared minus b squared. Again, if a is equal to 4 and b is equal to minus 2. So it is a squared minus b squared and a is equal to 4 and b is equal to minus 2. I'm going to write them up here on the side. a squared means 4 all to be squared. And I'm going to keep that in brackets because it just means that I'm just not going to make any mistake. Minus b to be squared means minus 2 all to be squared. Okay, 4 squared is 16 minus 
minus 2 squared, you can do this on your calculator, but if I just bring you over here to the side, minus 2 squared means minus 2 multiplied by minus 2, and a minus multiplied by a minus gives me a plus, and 2 multiplied by 2 gives me 4. So I will have 16 minus plus 4, but again, you cannot have a minus and a plus together. A minus and a plus will always give you a minus. So it becomes 16 minus 4. And your answer to this question here is 12. So really important that when we're dealing with squares, we keep everything in brackets because the signs is where a lot of people will go wrong here. Okay, so tonight's learning check. If x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1, find x plus y, x minus y, y minus x, and 2x plus y. And I'll see everybody tomorrow.